what's up guys it's Zaki here and today in this video we'll be taking a look at the Huawei Y7 Prime so without much further ado let's get into it But before even starting the video, letting you all know that if you haven't checked out my previous smartphone reviews, then make sure to do so and subscribe to the channel because if you're not a part of the family and the movement, you are missing a lot of stuff out. Thanks to Huawei Enterprise and Huawei Models Bangladesh for making this video possible. Make sure to check them out. The address is on the screen right now and it's on the description box down below. So yeah, check them out. Huawei is renowned for its decent spec and superior performance and honestly it attracts a lot of people and so it attracted me. The mid-range phones including the cheap ones are very well performing and there isn't any kind of complaints from my side. Do let me know about your thoughts though in the comment section down below. Starting off with the packaging of the device, the packaging itself is pretty good. I haven't done the unboxing but if you want to see it, make sure to comment down below and let me know as well. The first thing that most of us notice is the design in particular. The Huawei Y7 Prime comes in two color option with black and gold version for instance. Both the versions look really dope but the gold one is my pick for the day. I just decided to go with the gold one because I have been recently doing black ones a little too more. Speaking about how well the phone is designed, it is just amazing. It isn't a masterpiece but honestly it's phenomenal for the price tag and everything else. The phone is entirely plastic based off on a met fully metallic interior even with the plastics on the back and so the device feels really great and there isn't anything that I personally hate about it. The metallic edges on the device is really annoying at times. Due to that thing, the Huawei Y7 Prime looks fantastic but at the same time, it is also the main reason for the device to slip from my hand very often. The bezels on the phone are fat, they seriously are. For a phone with buttons on screen, it is really unconvincing to see something like this. But yeah, Huawei if you're watching this, it's just a tip for you. Moving on to the display of this device, the phone rocks a 5.5 inch HD IPS display with a resolution of 720 by 1280. The display includes 2.5D carved glass which feels great but with addition of a screen protector, the vibe seems to be gone. Gaming on this device isn't the best, it really isn't better than the GR3 2017, honestly speaking. The Huawei Y7 is powered with the Snapdragon 435 processor and with this the device performs really well. It isn't buttery smooth but it's just so fine. Don't expect to run a whole lot of high-end games and application but normal social media usage and other bits and bobs will be, will be more than fine. The phone has an internal storage of 32GB which is expandable up to 256GB of storage with an SD card. The phone comes with the Android Nougat out, out of the box but now as the Android Oreo is out, it will be soon updated. But if you're asking yourself what is the best piece of hardware in this device, I would have no doubt to say that it is the fingerprint sensor itself. Not only is this fast but at the same time it can be used to control a vast number of functions. The back camera is a 12 megapixel f2.2 shooter that takes decent photos with a really nice mixture of color and contrast. The camera also has tons of function which you can select from the settings. The audio meter in this device is very helpful for people who are into making videos or just starting out YouTube. The camera also has few camera modes that include slow motion, panorama and a lot lot more. You can surely use all these modes to get your the needs fulfilled. The front camera is good as well, taking selfie will be very juicy and hopefully you will enjoy it to the best potential. The phone is spiced up with 4000 mAh of battery which is insane and undoubtedly I just love it. So what is this device all about? The battery is pretty huge, the display is okay-ish, the camera is awesome, the design is impressive and in a nutshell it isn't better than the GR3 2017. If you are interested in checking out the review of Huawei GR3 2017 then make sure to check the description box down below and also there is a card on the top right corner so hit it up check it out that's basically it for today guys hope you all have enjoyed the video if you did then smash the like button if you want to see more contents like this then subscribe to the channel and seriously if you're not a part of the family um you're missing out a lot of stuff subscribe and be a part of this amazing family i have this goal of hitting 2000 subscribers by the end of this year let's see if you can do it i know you guys are awesome you guys can make it happen all my social medias are linked in the description box down below including my website make sure to go and check it out I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Peace.
Thank you.